Hey, it's Christina, the founder of Size Happy and the admin of Breast Implant Illness Rejuvenation and Education with Christina. I'm going to be taking you through an EFT session or emotional freedom technique or tapping. But before we get into it, I want to explain what it is, how it works, and where all the tapping points are on the body. And if you have never done an EFT session before, if you've never seen anybody else do it, you're probably going to think it looks a little bit crazy. I know when somebody first suggested that I do it for some things that I was going through, I was like, yeah, how is that going to help what I'm going through? And I totally dismissed it for a couple years until I really began down a healing journey and kept seeing EFT, emotional freedom technique, being brought up all the time when it comes to just emotional well-being and mental clarity. So emotional freedom technique has become very popular over the last like five to seven years. And with that comes a lot of studies and research about it and like why it works so well, why it's so effective and how it works and what it does to the brain. Well, EFT is said to be a combination of Chinese acupressure and modern day psychology. And what you're doing is you're tapping on the specific points on the body, on these meridian points where energy intersects. By tapping on these nine specific points, you will allow stuck stagnant energy to flow more freely through you, realigning you mind, body, and soul. Now, a couple things that you'll want to do before starting any session is to one, assess where you are on a scale of one to 10. One being like, I really want to work through this. I'm not emotionally heightened right now, um, but there's something that I kind of want to tap through and see what comes up for me. 10 being, I am freaking out. I am stressed. I have a massive amount of anxiety right now. And so you'll want to gauge before you are, or before you start a session where you are, so that as you go through the session, you can actually feel and become aware of the stress going down or the clarity increasing. And the second thing you'll want to do is like ask yourself, what am I trying to get out of this session? What am I hoping to process, to get more clarity about, to work through? Um, and just ask yourself those clarity questions. All right, now the fun part. I'm going to show you where on the body you will be tapping and I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways that you can tap on those points. Tapping point number one is on the meat of your hand. It's the karate chop point. So you will tap right here, either hand, doesn't matter. Number two is right on the top of the head. Number three is right in between your eyebrows. Number four is on the sides of your eyes. Number five is right below your eyes, right where your eye sockets are. Next one is right below your nose, above your upper lip, under your lower lip, on your chin area, and then on your collarbone area. So you'll find where your collarbone is, go in about an inch and you'll tap right here. And then the last one is called the bra strap area. So it's right where your bra strap would be, kind of like right underneath your shoulder blade. And you'll tap on that point. And there are a couple different ways that you can tap on these points. From what I understand, either way is not better than the other. They're both very effective. So when it comes to the karate chop area, you can do with your four fingers, two fingers, or some people even just do with both hands like this. Now with the top of the head, you can do at the same time alternate back and forth, or just one side at a time. And the same goes with these areas. So you can do together like this, or you can alternate like this, or you could just do one side the entire time, the entire way through. So like this, then you'll do this side, you'll do this side, then you'll do under here, and then you'll continue to move down um, on this side here. Okay, so those are the different ways that you can do it and all of the tapping points. 
In today's EFT session, we are going to work on releasing any anger and frustration that you may have post explant in regards to your healing journey. And we're going to call in more patience and trust in our body's capability to heal us. All right, you're going to follow my lead and repeat my words. Here we go. Even though I feel angry and I'm frustrated with my progress, I'm worried I'm doing something wrong and I'm seeing everyone else heal faster than me. I love my body and trust that it's doing the best it can to heal me. Top of the head. Even though I'm frustrated and I am beginning to get impatient, I release any expectations I have about how fast I should be healing and surrender these expectations right now. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. This anger I'm carrying is not helping anything. This doubt, this frustration, this worry, I'm letting it go right now. My body is on my side. My body is more than capable of healing me. My body is healing me right now. I will get there. Because I'm doing my best. And my body is doing its best. I know this, I do. I'm surrendering to allow space for healing. I'm going to turn this frustration into faith. And this pain into patience. Take a couple deep breaths. Let's see what else comes up for you, where it sits in your body. And I want you to reassess where you are on a scale of one to 10. All right, here we go again, okay? Starting with the head. Even though I still have some worry and anger in my body, I deeply and fully trust in myself and my body. I'm healing. I am healing. My true state is radiant health. Healing is a natural process in me. And I'm letting go of anything that blocks that. I'm letting go of expectations. because I trust my body. I am letting go of anger
because trust and faith and patience will get me further faster. I'm letting go of frustration because healing takes time. All the tension in my body. It's time I let it go. I choose to let it go. Letting it all go. Releasing all this frustration, doubt, and anger. And replacing it with patience gratitude, and grace. <sighs> Take a couple deep breaths. <sighs> now, how do you feel compared to before you even started this? when you were carrying the frustration, the doubt, and the worry, and the anger. And I'm hoping that after you go through this, feel free to go through it another one or two times if you need to. But I'm really hoping that you just get more connected with your body and allow in more trust and faith and patience so that your body has a easier time to facilitate healing post-explant. 